standard audio stretch and this tiny 500 series it's really complicated let's take a look inside it's really complicated but let's take a look together So before jumping to the review, I have to send a huge thanks to Milka Audio Store that sent me this unit. And if you are interested to purchase, you have the link in the description directly to the product. And if you want to listen better the sound from this unit uh, without the YouTube compression, I suggest to join my YouTube channel, becoming a member, you can download a lot of stuff. Uh, so all the recording for the test, uh, DO template, guitar presets, impulse response. So lot of stuff. So let's talk about the standard audio stretch. What is this stretch? What is this stretch? Well, basically this is a compressor, really aggressive compressor, let me say, and a filter. So you can apply different filters, actually seven different filters to the compression. So basically it's like a e dynamic equalizer, let's say, with presets on filter. It's really difficult to understand in this way but let me explain step by step so let's start from above as you can see you have the input and the output knob really great uh, feeling I really like the feeling basically the input is to determine the amount of signal that you want to send inside the unit and the overall output for the volume the threshold is fixed so basically it's really sensitive this uh, input knob so with really really low amount of input you will start to compress and basically the red LED will light up when the signal reaches the threshold uh, of 2 dBs okay so if you push harder you will not see this red blinking because you are uh, above the 2 uh, dBs so it might be is 4, 5, 10 and you are already compressing then of course you have the filter and compression knob basically the compression because you can monitor the compression but this is a filter and it's basically a, a cycling knob because you can uh, push several times seven times basically to change between seven different filter so let me explain the filter you can apply the filter on three different frequencies 110 hertz 3 kilohertz and 9 kilohertz so you can apply the compression on all the frequencies without using the filter so all the frequencies 2020 then you can apply the filter on all the frequencies but with a bump in the 9 kilohertz and this is really great to get more brightness then only from 3 kilohertz above or 3 kilohertz above and the bump on the 9 kilohertz or only lower the 110 hertz lower 110 hertz and the 300 hertz or lower the 110 hertz and higher than the 3 kilohertz with a bump in the 9 kilohertz. You can really create interesting stuff, guys. And of course, you have the mix knob here, which is really smooth. I really like this. And basically, you can blend the affected uh, signal uh, with the normal signal. And I really strongly suggest you to use a small amount of mix because otherwise you will create really extreme filter okay so let's listen how it sounds
guys, as you listen, it's a really interesting unit, really complicated unit, and you have to understand what you are doing with this stuff before creating something and mess with the, the signal. But it's really interesting because you can create a filter and I suggest you use the mix all the way up to listen what you are doing with the filter and then blending and you can really making alive your sound because I really like the compression. It's really aggressive, the compression. And if you want, you can basically add some uh, kick, add some brightness in dynamic way. So it's really, really great. So guys, you have the link in the description if you're interested in standard audio stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.